Divine Truth Assistance Group. Group Assistance Sessions, Putting Principles of Divine Truth into Action. This recording is from the Understanding God's Love and Laws Group and is part of an Education in Love series. In the Enforcing Love and Truth Session 3 presentation, Mary creates the correct environment for gaining an education in love by removing participants whom she feels are not addressing gender-based emotional issues caused by a lack of sincere desire for love, truth, and self-awareness. Recorded on the 22nd of November, 2016, in New Seville, Queensland, Australia. Lena's indicating to me that I've got something on my face. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's that code for? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Last group we had a funny thing where Igor really had to go to the bathroom and I was up here with Jesus and I didn't want to interrupt him and so I was doing this thing to Lena about <laughs> Igor. So if you see that on the final presentation where Mary's like, <laughs> you'll be like, oh, that's what she's doing. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so... Enforcing Love and Truth, session three. This is really just to address one person, Luli. Luli, Jesus and I have decided we need to ask you to leave. And that's just because you've got a lot of these issues that we pointed out to the women who were asked to leave in our previous day. You want power over women and you want to be able to condescend to women and also to have them commiserate with your position, um, like where you're at emotionally. And I'm kind of going into a bit of detail because I feel a lot of other women share these projections towards women of their same gender. Like, I want to be, have commiseration for where I'm at and tell me it's hard and tell me I don't have to change and things like that. Um, so it's a big issue for you. But also this wanting power and wanting to condescend is a big issue. And with men, you want them to meet all of your addictions. But that's not the reason we're asking you to leave. The reason we're asking you to leave is that you, we've pointed that stuff out to you for a lot of years now, and you get very angry when, those, when, men, when a man doesn't meet those demands or when a woman doesn't meet those demands. Um, and yesterday, your feelings towards both Jesus and I were very heavy. Oh, sorry, the last day we were here. <laughs> very heavy and um, really unwarranted. Uh, you, like everyone, is an invited guest here, and we just feel that we've given you a lot of opportunities to hear about this. We've spoken to you in private and in public, <laughs> lots of different ways about this issue. So, so that's the basis of our decision. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we feel that we want to give you the opportunity to work through this issue properly um, because it's been so long standing, and we'd like you to remove you from any volunteer roles that you have at this time. Because if you remember, this is really the reasons that we removed you from the office email, and, but we know you've, you've been gifting a lot of other things to transcribing, but we just feel that it, it's really important that you look at this issue, so. Honky dog. Um, yeah, so that's, you can, we'll briefly go to you. Yep, yep, thanks Katrina. Um, does that include all of the transcribing volunteering? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Well, um, I'll just take a couple of minutes now, change my slides, and we'll ask Lily to leave. And is there anything you wanted to add to that, Jesus? No. Nope. 